Welcome to part two of perfect market. All right, this slide is very, very important. You need to know that when we are looking for the profit maximization point, in other words, the point where the business will get maximum profits, then we look at the M's, the two M's. So where the M's are equal, we have a profit maximization point. So MR is equal to MC at the profit maximization point. But if we are looking for the profit or a loss, we want to see if you are making a profit or a loss. Now we look at the A curve. So we look at the A's. In other words, the AR and the AC. If the AR, there's more revenue than cost, then the business is making an economic profit. But if the AR is less than the cost, then the business is making an economic loss. But where the A is equal, in other words, where the AR equals to the AC, now the business is making a normal profit. Let us uh, look at this graphically. Okay, so in part one, we already know that this line, this horizontal line, also represents the MR. We proved that this line, the MR, was also equal to the price in the market, as well as AR. But now we're looking for the profit maximization point, and we know at the profit maximization point, it's the point where the M's are equal. The MR is equal to MC. So... Let's introduce the MC curve. This would be the MC curve, the curve that looks like a, a tick. This is MC. And of course, the MC and the MR touch at that point. And where they meet, that is the profit maximization point where the M's are equal. MC is equal to MR. Let's then talk about profit. And remember, we said for profit, we now look at the A's, the AR and the AC. Now, this condition must be met in order to achieve an economic profit. The AR should be more than the AC. All right, we already know the horizontal line uh, also represents the AR. So we have the AR. So let's introduce the AC curve. Now, this AC curve, if we are going to have an economic profit at the profit maximization point, it needs to be below it needs to be below the AR. All right, remember at the profit maximization point, which is a point where the M's are equal, we can go down to the AC and see that at that point the AR, in other words the horizontal line, is above the AC at the profit maximization point. So here we are making a profit, an economic profit. And we can literally calculate this profit if we go from that minimum point and we form a rectangle at that prof at that minimum point, that rectangle is going to give us the profits. So if you wanted to extract this rectangle, let's maybe uh, write the rectangle here. We know uh, the length is going to be from 0 to 80k. So from 0 to 80k, the difference is 80k. And then if we look at the width, the width goes from 1 to 3. That difference is 2 rents. From 1 rents to 3 rents, the difference is 2 rents. So, if, so now we have this rectangle. We've, uh, we've written it here. So if we want to calculate the profit, the economic profit, it's going to have to be the length, which is 80K, and multiplied by two rands. So then the profit in this case would be 160,000. All right. Now for the economic loss, we need the AC now to be above the AR. So at the profit maximization point, we're going to draw the AC above the AR. So we start at the profit maximization point again, and we go up to the uh, AC curve. All right, and we can form a rectangle again, which will, this rectangle will give us our loss. All right, so we can calculate this loss also. We know uh, if we start at zero, 
to 80. All right, so let's calculate the loss from 0 to 80. The length of this rectangle is 80, 80,000 again, 80k. And then if we look at the width, the width goes from 2 to 3, I'm uh, sorry, from 5 to 8. And that difference is 3, because 8 minus 5 is 3. So the width is 3, 3 rands to be specific. Now, if we multiply 80k by 3 rands, we will get 240,000. But remember, this is a loss, so it needs to have a minus in front needs to be negative because we are uh, the cost is more than the revenue so we get minus 240k for a loss now the normal profit uh, is easy normal profit is where the a's are equal so the minimum point of the ac should touch the ar so we will have a normal profit in this situation so our ac just touches our ar so we've got a normal profit. And this will happen in the long run. This is very important to understand that because anyone, uh, any firm can get into a perfect market, it's easy to get in a perfect market. Anyone can uh, get in. There are no barriers to entry. In the long run, no firm can make profits here. No firm can make economic profits, I should say. So all firms in the long run have introduced an L there to represent the long run in the long run all firms will make normal profits as we can see in the curve in the long run all firms will make a normal profit because we can see the long run uh, um, average cost curve the long run ac will touch uh, the ar and in the long run all firms will make a normal profit now, in the last slide, we've got the AC. We've written the AC as the ATC because now we want to divide it into two. We want to divide the total cost into uh, fixed cost, average fixed cost, and average variable cost. All right, we need this average variable cost to tell us the shutdown point, right? Because when a firm can no longer meet its variable cost, it will shut down. All right, so we can draw the ABC. We don't have to draw this one, but we can draw the ABC. And it has a very similar shape to the AC or to the ATC. So if we draw, let's try again. If we draw um, the ABC, then we will be able to determine our shutdown point because this is it. The minimum point of the ABC uh, it's also where the ABC meets the MC. We have uh, the business will shut down because it can no longer cover its variable cost. So that will be the shutdown point. I hope this video was useful. Thank you, Great Valves.